Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one's talking uh, Town Hall 10, defensive for a moment. Gonna be a very quick video, I just wanna talk a little bit about this new concept. Not really new, but I guess kinda new to Town Hall 10 that we've been seeing with these all four offset air defenses. Um, it's kinda like the Town Hall 9 no-fly zone base that I built a few videos back. Be sure to check that out if you haven't already. Um, I built a Town Hall 9 base that uses the same concept to defend against the Loon meta right now at Town Hall 9, or at least try to defend. It's very powerful and difficult to defend at Town Hall 9, but um, regardless, at Town Hall 10, I think this is even a better option because uh, dragons and other kind of uh, non-Lava Hound air attacks are very, uh, very much so weaker at Town Hall 10 than they are at Town Hall 9. It's pretty much Lava Hound based attacks if you're talking air at Town Hall 10, which makes this a good option because um, it can really screw up the Lava Hounds if you have your air defenses offset like this. So I just want to comment on a few things uh, in this video. This design isn't that good to be honest. Uh, it was just kind of thrown together for this video. You can see it's not finished. I mainly just put in some important defenses and uh, it's definitely not... Um, something I would use as my base. I'd, I'd make you know, a lot of changes, little things, to uh, to try to make it a better defensive base. But one thing right off the bat, I wanna tell you guys, if you should only use this if you're a mid to max Town Hall 10. If you're a new Town Hall 10, this isn't gonna work as well because your Archer Towers will be too low level. You'll probably get hit by dragons or there'll be some way to exploit this kind of weird setup on your base. You wanna have high level Archer Towers and Wizard Towers, cannons too, um, that also helps. Just just all around high level stuff is going to make this um, a better option if you have just a uh, you know um, a, a very new level one inferno base you can try this but i don't think it's going to work as well um, in my opinion but yeah basically what this base is doing it's putting all four air defenses here and it's putting all the cannons and uh, the bomb tower and stuff that's not air targeting uh, in that area around those air defenses, which basically means if they want to do a La Loon, they have to do it on the bottom here, but um, at the same time, all your air stuff is at the top, so the b b if they do try this, a classic La Loon, the balloons are going to end up in this area with no Lava Hounds to tank for them, and they'll get torn apart pretty easily. Notice the air sweepers are also in this area. On the Town Hall 9 base build, I put them defending the, uh, the air defenses, but I think... At Town Hall 10, it's um, a little safer to put these guys up with the Archer Towers and Wizard Towers. Um, that way you can just make sure there's nothing air coming from that direction. Uh, so that's my recommendation there. Um, a few other things I want to talk about. The Queen, that's a big point. The Queen is by the air defenses, which you would think is very weird. But you don't want to, um, you don't want to completely put all your your uh, air targeting stuff at the top of the base up here. You wanna at least leave the queen at the bottom. Um, most bases I've seen have done this, and I think, I don't have a, you know, a ton of experience, but I think the rationale is you can't just put air defenses, because then they might come with like a big kill squad over here, take out your queen plus all your air stuff, then they could possibly laloon uh, this part of the base. You don't want to make it like that. You want to put the queen there so the lava hounds pop even earlier. So they have to at least take out the queen if they want to use a laloon. Otherwise, they'll have to deal with the queen on this bottom part of the base. So you don't want to just leave the air defenses up. Uh, that's a pretty important uh, thing point to make. I recommend putting the queen on the bottom half by the air defenses. Because um, even if they do come from this side, really the queen not having her at the top is not a big deal. She's pretty much just an expo that kind of walks around a little bit and uh, can aggro troops and stuff. She's not that um, she's not that much of an asset at Town Hall 10 especially, where the, uh, the Archer Towers can be very high level and stuff. So I'd put her at the bottom here just to add a little bit more to the air defenses to help them out in case there is a Laloon from that side of the base. Um, as far as air traps go, I'd recommend also putting um, probably a Seeking Air Mine on each side. You don't want to completely sell out at the top because people can, like I said, use a big kill squad, take out all of this stuff up here, and then try a Laloon on this part of the base or even some kind of 
probably a La Lune, yeah, something like that, and uh, the balloons will have nothing hitting them. So you want to have at least um, something to pop these Lava Hounds a little bit quicker, even though all four air defenses are here, uh, there's still that possibility. So I put the other three up top here, you know, defend dragons, defend balloons, whatever is coming in this area, because you know there's a good chance uh, they might try something with no air defenses up there. Also, pretty much all the red traps up here, that's going to be your best bet. There's no point putting them down here, really, unless there's anything out of range of an air defense but of course the air defenses have everything covered so there's no point putting a uh, a red bomb there it'll just get soaked up by a lava hound because a lava hound is really the only troop they will be dropping in this area no point dropping balloons or dragons when all this uh, air defense coverage so i think that pretty much covers it um some people like using the skeleton traps on air personally i still like them on ground but i can see it both ways um, the king, you can also decide. I put him here to protect the queen a little bit, but you have a little bit of liberty with that. <clears throat> as far as CCs, um, your CC troops, um, for Town Hall 10 in general, almost, beyond this base, I usually like bringing a Baby Dragon Valk combo. I think that typically forces the queen's ability. If there's some other point defense on her, the rage won't just do it in some circumstances, um, depending on where the queen is. So I think that's a, a good choice to bring. Or you could try bringing like a Lava Hound or something. I just feel that that can be, especially on a second attack, which typically you get to that at Town Hall 10, that can be manipulated in some different ways to uh, make it uh, beneficial for the attackers. So um, Teslas, I'm not going to really talk too much about them. I just put them like, you know, little places. I like them on the outside of the base these days, just like places like this. I, I think they, um, they can be pretty effective out there, just spreading stuff out, um, really mess up balloon pathing. This base doesn't have to worry as much about balloon pathing. Um, I think I might make a video on Teslas and traps at some point, uh, but not today, just talking Town Hall 10 basics. So um, this is just kind of a very general video. Hope this helped uh, you guys, you Town Hall 10s. If you're wondering why you keep getting hit by La Loon, it's very common. It's probably the only viable air composition. We do see a little bit of dragons, but for the most part, it's it's strictly La, strictly La Loon, and this is a good way to try to defend that. So let me know what you think below. If you guys want, I might consider building a full base at Town Hall 10, maybe even doing some friendly challenges on it or something. But uh, yeah, that'll, that'll do it for this video for today. Hope it helped, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, Sectatron out.